Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use and animate HDRI in Blender 2.8. First of all, a mention to Rena Fox for this model of an old car. Here you can see the model on Sketchfab. It's a free model, it's downloadable, it's a Creative Commons um, non-commercial license. You can download and play with it on your non-commercial uh, projects also go to Rena Fox page a lot of amazing models not all of them are downloadable for free some of them are are of course for sale but the one we're using it's free let's move to the rendered preview here you can see the model with maps of course and we have a simple plane which is like a, a water or wet surface and let's see how to add our first HDRI you can add it going to world and clicking on the color channel or you can go in if you are into the shader editor you can select world normally you go for the material to object this time you go to world and you can see here in real time that you can do the same things in both windows for example if i click here on color and go to environment texture you can see that the node has been created automatically you will see also in your viewport everything purple because we don't have any image yet so it's like an error message or a warning saying you need an image if you have a texture node so at the moment there's no image and it's complaining we're going to use this um, image called delta delta 28 i'm going to show the image in a moment here is our hdri it's delta 28 is downloaded from hdri haven it's the best website with free hdri for all of your project and as you can see all these settings are exactly the same settings that you see here i can see i don't have any reflections under the car and the reason is because i need to enable screen space reflections and here are my reflections back my suggestion is also to um, in order to get better reflections more realistic reflections we can add a reflection plane we want to scale it we want to move it slightly above the surface and then if you want to see both the reflections of the plane and the reflection plane that we added we need to remove here in the object data show data in this way we see basically both the reflection plane reflections which are these ones and our ground reflections as usual i suggest to enable um, ambient occlusion and and bloom to make it a bit more realistic once your HDRI is in the scene, you may want to change the orientation of it. And the way to do it, it's like the texture of any other object. So I'm going to add a node, which is texture coordinates. And another node, which is mapping. I'm going to link the generated to the vector and the vector out to the vector. Now nothing has changed at the moment, but if I use the rotation channel, I can rotate the HDRI. And of course, as I rotate the background, I rotate also the light. From the same node, I can also change the position of the HDRI up and down. So for example, if I want to see only the sky in this image, and I don't want to see the trees, I can move the HDRI. The trees are still there, so if I go up, I can still see them. So if you want a sky, a 360 sky, the best options is having 
an HDRI that has the horizon very far and there's no um, tall object close to you, for example. With this other HDRI, which I used in a previous tutorial, I can have a 360 view of clouds and nothing else. And the reason is the picture has been taken in a place where there's not much around in the close distance and from a tall probably position so all the objects are quite low compared to the point of view so it's easy to move slightly the horizon and remove everything if you add tall a building for example all around you this would not be possible with the same mapping node you can animate for example the clouds going around going back to the previous HDRI I'm going to show you how to animate a day to night transition as you can imagine you need two different HDRI and you cannot do this from the tap settings here easily so the best it's using the shader editor select the mapping you can duplicate the tree and then you can select your second hdri which i downloaded again from hdri heaven and then you need a another node which is a mix RGB node and link the color of the first one to the mix the output of the mix into the background and the second one into the second color channel of the mix node now it's still normal right now nothing has changed if I change the fact, I can go from the first HDRI to the second one. So you can animate, of course, the transition between the two. At the same time, I would suggest to change, for example, the strength of the HDRI. For example, daylight HDRI is quite strong. But by night, for example, you want something you want something darker, and here is the final transition. Of course, you may want the two HDRI, the night and the day, to be taken from the same position. But if your two backgrounds are quite similar, the transition will work quite well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any problem or doubt about HDRI and how to uh, set them up and animate them, please leave a comment below. Also, if you want to suggest me a topic for a next tutorial, let me know. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it and keep it alive. Thank you. Bye.